high fans of high quality entertainment. This is just a vlog where I just ramble on for a few minutes as I'm known to do. Uh, I want to talk about David Bowie. I want to talk about some upcoming exciting videos. Uh, I want to talk about uh, a, a comment I received yesterday. And I also, I, I forgot that on February 9th, I totally forgot, it was my anniversary on YouTube. It was my 12th year anniversary on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, sit, sit down. And, uh, boy, a lot, a, lot of, a lot of things have gone on on YouTube in those 12 years. I recently uh, lost uh, getting, having ads on my ASMR Larry Graves channel because I guess it's too small of a channel. And so I don't know if I'm going to keep posting on there. I mean, it's not that I do this for the money, but the fact is I've been on this site for 12 years and I don't, I, I don't feel guilty making $100,000 per month. That's what I make. I bet you didn't know that. Now, yesterday I did a video on a newish band that I really love called The Giant Dog. And at the end of the video, sometimes I don't know how to end a video, and so I don't know when it first started, but a few months ago at the end of it, I said, uh, <laughs> I, I insult my viewers and I say, bunch of losers, and you know, I turn off the camera. And so, once in a blue moon, I still do that. I might actually end up, you know, how I start my videos with high fans of high quality entertainment. I might end almost all of my videos, you know, just saying bunch of losers, just for a laugh. But I received this comment yesterday by Glenn Page Music. Jesus, why are you calling us losers at the end? Is that a joke? You look pissed. Bunch of losers. You know, obviously, I guess some people are going to think I'm being serious. It's just my sense of humor, sarcastic humor, as my girlfriend Molly has. She has a sarcastic sense of humor. And she's made me cry many times because I thought she was serious. But just, you know, as if I would really insult my viewers. I'm having fun, and most of you know I'm just joking around, so don't, don't take offense when I say you are all a bunch of losers. I'm just joking. My girlfriend Molly is going to be here tomorrow, and we are going to be doing some videos. I don't know if it'll be a, it might be a food review. I know that she uh, has some music that she loves that she wants me to hear and review and give my honest thoughts on. And so look forward to that. And my uh, 60th birthday will be next Wednesday, February 28th. And I don't know, I, I think I'm going to do I'm just going to do a more serious uh, video on being 60 and everything I've gone through in life. And I know I have a lot of young viewers. I just posted a, in the community settings a poll uh, asking, I'm going to start this, uh, you know, different classic rock songs and what you think of them. Do you love it, like it, dislike or hate it, or I've never heard the song. And I was actually surprised with Iron Butterflies in Agata de Vida something like 71% so far that have responded to the poll have never heard the song. It makes me feel old. And I did a video when I turned 50 on YouTube 10 years ago. And so I might include that uh, on my birthday video. And also around the same time, uh, I have the Beatles t-shirt giveaway. So I will announce the winner uh, 
it, I think it's going to be March 1st, so March 1st or March 2nd with my girlfriend Molly. And the only other thing I have to talk about is David Bowie. As some of you know, I've been rambling on about him in the last few months. I've, even in the 70s, I liked him. I, I, I think I had the album Ziggy Stardust on vinyl, and I enjoyed it. I ended up selling it. But, uh, and you know, I'd, have, I'd buy the occasional album by him, but not too many. But, you know, when I heard him on the radio or saw videos, I enjoyed his music, so I always liked him a lot. But I have become a huge fan, and I'm at the point where I think he might be the greatest solo artist of all time. And I am just starting to really listen to his albums. I only have 13 of his albums so far, so I still have a lot more to go through. I'll just give a quick review on each of them and my thoughts on them. Lodger. I, I've heard this isn't as good as, you know, Low and uh, Station to Station, but I was impressed with it. And I'm still, of course, uh, you know, getting into it, but I really enjoy this album, so I'm a fan of it. Heroes. I love the song Heroes, but I've only played this a couple of times and I still haven't connected with it. But I will keep playing it, and because uh, I know it's probably uh, the second or third most loved David Bowie album. Number one is Ziggy Stardust, so I need to listen to this more. Low. I'd never heard it until you know two or three months ago when I bought this, and. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I'm, once again, the instrumental uh, tracks, which I enjoy, I still need to process them with my brain more, but this is superb. This is one of my favorite David Bowie albums, for sure. Station to Station. I've played it many times, and I'm still... I, I get, you know, it's kind of sad in a way that I missed out all these years being a David Bowie fan, but it's also kind of cool in a way that there are so many David Bowie albums that are fresh to these ears. Another one I absolutely love, Scary Monsters and Super cre Creeps, cre I almost said Creeks. And I had the 45 of... Uh, Ashes to Ashes, which I absolutely love, one of my favorite David Boyd songs. And the flip side was It's No Game Part 1, which I also loved. I thought it was really original and great, but I never heard the whole album, so I love this one. Now, his later albums I haven't heard, or I've bought and I still haven't had... <laughs> I'm still listening to his older albums. So Heathen, I've heard great things about. I've played it. I've kind of skipped through it, I guess. I haven't played the whole thing through even once yet, but I need to at some point. I'm just so focused on the earlier albums, you know, playing uh, Station to Station many times and Scary Monsters, but I need to listen to this more. And I have heard it's great, but, you know, it takes time to get into, and I will. Just be patient with me. Outside. I don't think it ha it is as loved as Heathen, but still, I've heard good things about this, too. And, uh, yeah, Outside. I haven't, I've just kind of skipped through it. But it sounds good, you know, even on the first listen, just going through some of the songs. Oh, that sounds good. The Next Day. I absolutely love the start of the album, The Next Day, Dirty Boys, The Stars Are Out Tonight, and then Where Are where are We Now? But I honestly haven't taken the time to listen and to the whole album. I need to. Aladdin Sane. 
I've enjoyed it. I've, I've listened to it two or three times and I'm still, still taking it in and still enjoying it. This, I believe, is the one that affects me the most. Uh, I think, at this point in time, it, my opinion could change though, this is my favorite David Bowie album, Black Star, his final album. And I've always enjoyed his vocals, but now I, I, he is one of my all-time favorite singers, for sure. He, he would be maybe in the top, th top three. I mean, there's John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Russell Mill of Sparks, John Anderson of Yes. So he'd be in the top five, at least. Diamond Dogs, still... I had this. I actually had this on vinyl. I never really got into it back in, you know, in the 70s. And I remember, I, th I think I had a, a, a poster of this on the wall. And my sister, who was 10 years older, and she had, you know, young kids at, at you know, visiting or whatever, and she didn't want to see, see this disgusting thing on the wall, and she, she tore it down. I haven't spoken to her since. Just joking. But this is, this is great, but I'm still getting into it. I've heard it a, a couple of times. Pinups. It it's, uh, hasn't had great reviews. I, I guess it's just a, a good album of him doing cover versions, but I need to listen to it more. I never realized that was Twiggy. If you're about my age, you would know her. She was a very famous... Uh, model in the 60s. And this is everybody's, one of, well not everybody's, but most people's in the top three David Bowie albums. And I've, I, I've heard this I think three times now and on the third lesson I'm starting to really, really like it. So I'm going to keep listening to it. It's Hunky Dory. And that's it. That's it. That's all. That's all. I'm done talking. Thanks for watching. Bunch of losers. Just joking. Bunch of losers.